Hello, hello, and welcome to the show. Hi, can you hear me over all the noise? So the wife was just wondering why I don't fall into the chest here. Go ahead, babe. Yeah, how come you don't fall in? It looks like you're going to go right into the void, into the <laughs> great nothing. You should. Yes. Wait, what? Well, I I'm not As you. I should? Not you specifically. What just kind of person are you to say a such a bad one? Thing? Holy cow. <laughs> Alright, so, as you can see, this thing is going gangbusters, and this got cleared maybe 20 seconds ago, and it's already this full again. Mm -hmm. This is daytime right now, as you can see by our clocks right here, but I think we're almost ready for another test. I would guess to wager that right now we could get it between 5-10 minutes. I, w I would say 7 minutes would be would a fairly common doable. If we started at daylight. Yes. We could get it in five. You think we can I get the five so. minute mark? We're very close uh, to my goal of getting this to a five minute 30, 30 uh, XP deal. But mm -hmm. we're going to be spending some time doing a whole bunch of different things today. But the wife's been gathering some XP for me because of this bad boy right here. This bow was about to break when it dropped. And it was an infinity one, flame one, punch one. And it literally had a sliver of red. You could barely see the red. <laughs> The only thing I could add to it was power two. Everything else was too expensive. And power two <clears throat> was from another bow, and it cost 38 levels. But then I got this Unbreaking 3 book after I spent 22 levels on a book. And uh, it's going to cost 18 levels to put that on there. But furthermore, it only cost 25, I think it was, to name it. Mm -hmm. So the wife's going to go ahead and put that together for me. And then she will be so kind to pass it back to me when she's done. Um... It is done. I, I yes think that she may potentially be the person that should have it because she's the one that just did this. But then again, I've made every bow that we've had for the past well month or so. But really, hun, I'm a better shot than you, so you should have the infinity bow. Yeah, because I go through the arrows more. Is that what you're trying yes, to say? Yes, because okay. I hit things. You know. You ready? Time. You ready for this? That's right, baby. <laughs> it's the Oh, I can't say that. What you don't think it's, your readers, your it's people can the read? Hit yes. <laughs> the ish. The that, ish. That's what people it's at work used ish. to type when when we were typing it's the work, ish. work work mail. When you were want to say I'm, I'm done with this, they'd say I'm, I'm done with this ish. I'm done with this ish. I'm out of here. <laughs> so I can put this unbreaking three power four punch one back upstairs as a backup. I got another infinity bow. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and toss off some arrows to the whiff now that I don't need them. Cool, thanks. And we're gonna go finish lighting up the. Um, oh, you have you have wood on you? You said because I I, do. I didn't think to stock up on torches. Mm. Yeah, um, I do not have any charcoal, but I can grab some real quick. Well, no, I, I've got no, a... No, I cannot. I don't have any on me. I've, I've got a... a we'll, we'll get some down there, oh, I'm sure. While I'm here, take a look at that. Everything's getting up there again, because we've been doing all the caving and whatnot. What do you have? Lots of stuff. You have stuff, too, but... Yeah. Ten blocks of diamonds. I think the most important part here, one to recognize, is the iron. We have 38 blocks of iron on my end. I have 64 plus 47 blocks, blocks. of iron. Holy crap. So I've, I've been all of our digging. lack of resources is gone. Mm -hmm. We are not just lighting up grid and caves today. We're just going to finish off doing that real quick because I have a couple of things I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, but I did also start working some more on the city expansion i guess would be the easiest way to put it mm -hmm. and we'll go take a look at what that is all about Ooh, and my thought process on that we can also get it oh shit did you look at him yeah i did where'd he go i don't know oh he's teleporting all over the place he must have teleported into water because huh. he so was on fire or something Oh, goodness. All right. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Let's get up in the tunnels. They're only too high. I have a thought process on that. I wanted to, before I got too far into it, wanted to show you. As I have said before, and I'm going to say again, I recorded the majority of the building off of camera because it's very difficult for me to talk and chew bubblegum at the same time. You have bubblegum? I want bubblegum. And uh, the same effect happens when I'm trying to build. And talk at the same time. Am I in the wrong one, or does it matter? No, uh, come come to this one. Okay. But the things I want to talk to you guys about real quick was... <clears throat> first of all, we got a chance to play Elder Scrolls Online. So much and fun. And I did release a two-part on basically the very basic breakdown of 
Is this the one you're on currently? I think so. Either that or I finished it, but I have to run to the other end okay, and find so it. Okay, so how many blocks further down do I Ten. start one? Ten? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'll go 20 blocks down from the end of this one. and. So from it is 10 or in between it is 10? 10, 10 in between okay. is what I've been doing. Oh, wow. Let's I not, hear badness. Let's not count with that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You have a torch right on. Was that on yep. purpose? It probably was originally, yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. No, I've already started that one. This um, one that I'm on? Must be. I'm going to I'm gonna go to this end of it and go towards you. Hopefully you're the same place I am. <laughs> All right. Uh, anyway, it was a basic breakdown of the game and the different components that you need to understand how to play it. And I've already gotten a couple of comments um, personally and on the YouTubes on different things relating to that. And I appreciate it, guys. Please feel free to leave any comments on that. I'm not one of those people who gets upset about it. I'm learning how to play a game. You can totally tell me. Uh, that I am an idiot or doing something wrong and explain You're a noob. Explain to me why or <laughs> what it is I need to do. It, it is fine by me to do so. Um, the one thing that I was told about very, very recently, earlier today, was... Silverfish. Silverfish. You were told about silverfish, yeah. yes. There is a way to get... If you can't see the person you're grouped up with and they're invisible to you, there is a way to get to them. It basically means you you're in a different... Over. Okay. You're in, you're in a dis, different... Well, I'm underground at the moment. Different instance. Uh, I guess it's all pretty much instant-based. So if a person that you're trying to get to is not visible to you, you can essentially teleport them to you or you teleport to them and you should be in the same instance as them. Um, I do not have the breakdown on how that works offhand, but that is a good thing to know. So it's not, not it's not a thing where you have to be in their friends list or something like that. It is something that can be remedied uh, fairly easily. That is good to know because that was, that was one of my biggest concerns with it was what's the point if you can't play with your friends? Well, I'm one of those people that I'm off by one. Yeah. You said ten. I, I'm gonna count maybe it. Maybe I was maybe I was off by one originally. Could happen. Well, you're totally off by one because I'm I'm not off. Mm, I'm I right think on. You're kind of off a lot. Whatever. <laughs> you know, just for that. Do not block me in. But I have been recently told by people that matter that I need to give it another look. If there's another beta before it releases, I need to check it out and for the purpose of PvP. The, um, the general consensus by people that uh, have played many of an MMO that I am the kind that I am interested in playing have told me that there is something wrong with the way the PvE works. Like it, They have the same kind of issues as I do with it and, and something just seems missing or what have you. But the PvP is the bee's knees, something that hasn't been seen for uh, many of year as far as we're concerned because the best MMO that was ever released uh, was something called Dark Ages of Camelot, and most people don't even know what the heck that is. The majority <laughs> of people that play MMOs these days got introduced to them by World of Warcraft. And I'm not saying I didn't play World of Warcraft. I played World of Warcraft for a very, very long time. But it was not as good of a game setup. It was not good of a, of a, as good of a core game as Dark Ages of Camelot. It, it, it lacked a lot of the fundamental aspects that I think are required to have a good PvP game. I'm out of torches. Can I come steal some of yours? Uh, sure. I will make you some torches. Thank you. I haven't run into any coal or I would have made my own, but I didn't. Uh, so, yeah, I will... If any of you that have watched that or are interested in that, I will definitely be checking that out in further detail if there is another beta before the release with the sole intention of getting to the PvP area and letting you know what I think about that. Um, some people might not understand what I was getting at with, with the way I do the the game reviews or what have you, but 
what you have to understand is my point of view. I don't want to watch a game review and it ruin the game for me. So it my game reviews tend to be informative and using as little of the gameplay as possible. I only want to show you enough for you to get an idea of what the game looks like and how it works. And that allows you to go play the game yourself and enjoy it. Yeah, uh, see if it's something that looks that it looks like you would want to play. Yes. That's, that's what the game review is for. So not to play the game for you. <laughs> if I do a let's play of that game, then it's you know it's no holds bar. I'm not I'm I'm not holding anything back. And if you have anything that you want to add to it, if it's one that I'm re releasing as I'm recording, feel free to do so. It's kind of open up, open air at that point. Like you're watching a gameplay of, of somebody, you're you're expecting to get the spoilers handed okay. to you. And if I'm doing a gameplay, I'm also in that boat. I can't I can't expect to not see what's going to be coming my way because I read all my comments. So that's enough of that subject. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and finish this up, and we'll let you know if we see any pockets that need to be let up or anything interesting. Uh, I do know for a fact after going back and editing some of the video that we did miss one of the ravines and I think I know where it's at so we will try to get that taken care of too in the near near future. Uh, probably not today but we'll, we'll definitely get get there. So the wife finally figured out what direction they were coming from and stuff she started digging around she asked if I could help out and we did find a pocket that uh, was not lit up it did go into a cave that had started to get lit up and then stopped so I don't know who and when but I hear it's look. right on the verge of the edge of the grid anyway so it may have been one of those things where like oh we're far enough away we can turn around but I'm gonna go ahead and go through here and light this up real quick we're seeing a lot of oh, hello. we're seeing a lot of of mobs coming from this area and we're seeing a lot of, of supplies so go through here real quick and, and, and light it all up take care of this stuff every skeleton take in the world hates me right down. now there's a lot of skeletons around here mm -hmm. I wonder if there's a spawner of skeleton you alright? yep that opens it up better thank you <laughs> having trouble getting through that opening. I appreciate that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Whatever yeah. you gotta tell ourselves. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Why? Why Why did you knock my torch out, sword? Oh, I hear another creeper. Oh, my gosh. Are you right over there? Yeah, I'm fine. I got diamond armor. I'm good. Yeah, but, you know, you still gotta repair that. So. Yeah, I will. At some point. Oh, hello, zombie apocalypse. White 2 k 3 0 Because... The reason why I didn't get rid of the water is because it was keeping all the zombies at bay. Well, that's what I'm here for. To keep all the zombies at bay? Yes. Uh, apparently I'm here to be hit in the back by zombies. Yeah. Where'd you come from, dude? He probably spawned behind you. Well, that's rude. You got some wood on you? Or some more torches available to me? Yes. I just heard a baby zombie. Dying. Stand right here. No, just... We can... Oh. Huh? Are you just getting that, or are you trying to find the noise? I'm, I'm just... Grabbing, grabbing stuff. You know me. I get great. Oh my god. Hear it? Yeah, I hear it. Yeah, sounds like a problem. Yeah, it definitely sounds like a problem. They're making so much noise that they're not all audible. So, I mean, there's enough mm -hmm. of them that they're they're cutting each other off. That is a big vein of iron. Wow. All right, let's see if we can find these bad mamma jammas. Do you think if I just follow this, I'm going to find them? I think we might. Although, I think if we did, we'd be running into them by now. Oh, hello. <laughs> Holy cow! Second, I can't see. Wow. Oh, wow. Here, here. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Hey guys. That. How's it mm -hmm. going? Hmm? You having a good time Return down here? Return of the zombie egg apocalypse. Yeah, step back for a second. <laughs> Whoa, what happened? Did you hit me? I didn't hit you. Apparently I was standing too close.
Anybody want cooked shish kebab? Somebody's got thorns. That's what it is. Holy cow. Are we good? Can we go down there? Whoo! All that XP. Uh, it's still flying around. I want the helmet. Thank you. I love it. Love it. All right, my inventory. Where's the chicken? Full. These I didn't are the, what I'm getting rid of. There's I, a chicken. Why am I throwing eggs out? That's probably a stupid idea, isn't it? Well, sweetheart, I'm guessing it's a little bit lighter. I I think it must be. Because I know I'm a little bit lighter. I just dumped a whole bunch of stuff into this chest here. You didn't get all of that. Yep. No way. Where's your Where's your stuff at? Uh, well, let's see. The diamonds are mine. All no, but two of the emeralds me. are mine. No, that's me. <laughs> Half the gold. <laughs> All, almost all the coal. So this is our, our loot from our little caving adventure. We've got another ravine lit up. There's still the one that we just keep on bypassing because it's well without, outside of the um, the grid. And we may get back to lighten that one up. But with the other one that I know we missed, uh, I know where it's at. We still have to get that one. But I'm not going to worry about that today. Uh, that was a pretty good haul. I think that'll overflow us. It is nighttime. Let's go ahead and take a quick siesta. All righty. I'm sitting on 27 levels. The wife, what are you at? 25. 25. Real quickly, I want to go out and look at the uh, new concept here so I can get you guys to give me some feedback on it. And actually, before I head out, I'm going to grab a couple of fence posts See and how we're doing a couple hole. of redstone blocks so I can take a, a look down below again. Lighting of the stuff is up. Lighting of such and such? Lighting of the stuffs. You Lighting of, light the stuffs. of the stuffs. We're overflowing with the goods at this point. To, uh, all this lighting up was uh, doing twofold for us, obviously, but I think we're going to be done with it for a while. Um, I know that there's some other things we need to get down below and take care of, but not in this area. All right. Ba da! That's my new concept. I haven't even seen it yet. I gotta come out there. What's going so, on? So, if you take a look at this, you got essentially two block types in there the iron bars are just kind of give it a feel of it's being eroded back and whatnot but the other block besides the redstone oh. or the red brick is this clay here and that's actually the gray and as the wife can tell you better than anyone we got lots of gray clay we actually have um probably close to two double chests full of it so yes. this idea is not a problem for us with more of that we can use up the better but if you take a look this really is taking good. up a 15 by 15 area as a single dwelling and it's also three stories tall so we're giving some more dimension to it we got these guys that are that are two stories and then this kind that's going to be a three story and i'm that thinking looks like it's got rebar showing i love yep. it <laughs> And I'm thinking about, oh, I needed to take that off up there. Uh, those iron around those, that front window, the very top. Oh, you need to take that out? Yeah. I just wanted it on the sides like it was part of a fire escape type of oh, thing. Oh, okay. But I got different get in. different uh, sections that are eroded more or less, depending on where they're at. We got the lighting in, in there, so it's everything's lit up very, very well. If we take a, a look in through the inside and the doors here, also got lights in the floors. And then we got a little bit of leftover flooring, but that's all half slabs as you usually do. And vines here and there. And then even a tree growing in this one. Because it's such a large area, I thought that would be kind of cool to have like a tree. I could have waited until I got a larger one, but I think I'm just going to leave it with that. Might play around with putting some acacia Oh. trees in these so that one might disappear and i might put an acacia grow an acacia in there because i think it would work better for the area being kind of dead and, and deserty colors wise yeah that might so that's the concept behind that but what i wanted to get your feedback on is mine or theirs uh it will definitely hear your feedback too but <laughs> the people watching at home how many of these could I put into here? I'm thinking at least one more. I mean, if you see this, we got four of those buildings that looks like just a row of the same thing. And then we got the two over here that one's the pumpkin farm and one's the cactus. And while I'm think looking at that, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this. Um, how many of those is cactus doing just fine? How many of those can we implement? How many can we add? Mm. Seven in there currently. Push a button and see what happens. I want to... I want to make this 
as city-like as possible, but at the same time, I I know I'm only going to be able to come up with so many concepts. That's these are, there's going to be a lot of buildings once this is all said and done. So I got to reuse some of this stuff, and I think if we you know like these are two stories, they're thinner. Um, this is a three story, but it takes up a full thing, so it's all proportionate. But can I only use one more of those? If I changed the clay color to a different color, could I put potentially a couple more of them, like right next to each other, like they're also a set? I, I would, because if you think about how a city actually grows, they tend to build the same kind of buildings next to each other, and then when they move out a little bit, they you know times of change and they build you know whatever the new now it's up to 22 is. the pumpkins was at seven. Oh wow that's nice so that's one harvest but what we need to do we still need to get that in some kind of timer so we don't have to come over here and push the button mm -hmm. so you think that would be no problem i don't think so because i mean like think about when we were in chicago and stuff it's like you had a whole whole rows of houses and there'd be three in a row that look the same and then there's you know another set that's made out of different material because it was made 10 years later or whatever yeah so i feel like it would be perfectly acceptable to have a few more of those with the same colors or you know maybe two more with the same color and maybe then another couple with a different color well i'm and, definitely going to yeah. try to figure it out because i want to i want i want to do a cityscape but at the same time i don't want to have to sit there i mean once you guys see the the grasp of this how big it, it it'll end up being that's a lot of different kinds of buildings yeah. to try to come up with. So try to make it as not easy, but as simplistic as possible to get the effect that I want. Because right. these are all rundown buildings. I'm not. What am I doing? I'm not using them for anything. I'm. I am. It's just for cityscape purposes. Right. So just to look nice. That's just to all. look nice. And by nice, we mean completely blown up and dilapidated. Yes. <laughs> oh yes okay so much more lit up we do hit we did miss one water pocket she's coming over to my screen because she can't see it if you look over here it's right at the edge of the grid though okay so i think we'll be okay with that but everything else is lit up on that corner the grid is now complete over on that corner there's more of the ravine that stuff is way out there that's in the jungle and that's why part of it is lit up very early on in the series we did that yeah um so everything I can see within the... Oh, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Is that... Okay. We have one dark spot directly that way that is in the grid. I oh, think okay. I need to try to... And there's the other ravine. So we just have a couple of pockets right in that area. If we go straight that away okay we'll get to it uh light lighten the rest of those up but i think in the next episode one of the first things we're going to do is do a test on the on the mob system I oh think, a time test yes i think we're there i think like you said if we try to do it at night uh it's not gonna give us the results we want oh sorry <laughs> let me run away from there if if <laughs> We do it during the day, like right as it turns day. We have a good, I uh, we'll have a good understanding of how quickly it's going to go. Yeah. And so expect to see that. Um, keep in mind, I would like to get some feedback on that, and I also would love some kind of idea as to how to set that up to a day night sensor. You, you don't have to have the idea for me. Um, if you are aware of somebody else that did it, just pop their name in the thing, and I'll research it. I've just never dealt with them before. I've never built with them. And, like, the only thing I can even remember somebody doing was, like, Generic B made a thing that blew up TNT automatically for B-dubs. I mean, this was on the old Minecraft yeah, server. Yeah, so ages ago. <laughs> it just seems it, it seems like it's one of those things that's been in the game, and everybody was so excited to, to see them being put into the game, but I haven't seen anybody implement it into their builds. Yeah. I, well, so. I mean, didn't isn't that how B-dubs did lighting? On the Minecraft server? No, mm, that wasn't. I don't it? think so. I thought I don't the know. lights, street lights, turned on at night or something. They might, but that I mean that's still one switch. I'm talking right. about things that can use them like as an on-off switch or just a pulse or something like that. Right. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I can't think of anything else that needs to be talked about. So as usual, folks. 
Don't forget that like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.